The new Intel Devil's Canyon line of CPUs are really aimed at overclockers who want the best CPU performance possible. The Core i5-4690K comes in at $240 and is $100 cheaper than the i7-4790K. Although it is $100 cheaper, it also features 4 less threads. Even though most modern games run best on 4 cores, having multiple threads can definitely help in productivity applications such as video rendering. In our power draw test, we used a kilowatt to measure the total system power draw when both idle and under load. At stock settings, the i5-4690K drew about 56 when idle and about 102 watts under load. When overclocked, the chip drew 85 watts when idle and 152 under load due to the increased voltage. In our temperature test, we let the computer run the link stress test for about 30 minutes in order to get our load temperatures. At stock, the i5-4690K ran at 33 Celsius when idle and 74 Celsius under load with the stock cooler. When we overclocked the CPU and water cooled it, the chip ran at 38 degrees Celsius when idle and 75 degrees Celsius under load. In the arithmetic benchmark, the i5-4690K fell behind the previous generation 4770K even when overclocked. Although the 4690K is a newer chip, it really is just a refresh of the 4670K which was already slower than the 4770K. In the cryptography test, the i5-4690K actually fared a lot better. At stock, it fell pretty far behind, but when overclocked, it actually matched the i7-4790K that was overclocked to 4.4GHz on all 8 threads. In our last compute test, the i5-4690K again fell behind the other processors due to the fact that it has 4 less threads and it was clocked a bit slower as well. Battlefield 4 is one of the few games that actually relies on the CPU for a lot of calculations. That is why multi-thread chips like the 4790K do much better than the dual-core Pentium. Unlike Battlefield 4, Crisis 3 relies more on the GPU than the CPU. In this test, the i5-4690K performed just as well as the i7-4790K. In the end, the new Devil's Canyon i5-4690K is definitely an improvement over the previous generation of chips due to the new and improved thermal interface and overclocking headroom. Unfortunately, we didn't have any i5-4670Ks on hand to compare, but the results should be similar to when we compare the 4770K and 4790K. If you're looking for a reasonably priced chip that will give you great gaming performance, the Intel Core i5-4690K will definitely be more than enough.